Hey folks, how's it going? Dr. Spin. In my quest to find the best albums for 2021, I've been working through this big elimination bracket, which results in a few challenges each week. And rather than put these behind the scenes and do them discreetly, I thought that I would bring them out in the open and maybe open up some discussion and see what you guys think. At the end of this video, I'll put up a couple of clips by these two artists. You can listen to them and, and sound up below. Tell me what, if you think that I'm on the right track with this stuff, okay? So for this challenge, I have Beauty Pills, Please Advise, versus Gunship's self-titled debut. Now, <clears throat> I've had an interest in the way that music uses nostalgia for a long time. And in that regard, Gunship was a very attractive um, buy for me, purchase for me. Gunship is explicitly an 80s synth wave band. They are trying to mime the sounds and the feel and the sort of superficial cultural imagery of the 80s in their music for various purposes. What I've really liked about Gunship is they've got great songwriting and um, they kind of have a take on this synthwave thing that's a little bit unique, kind of dark, a little bit gothic. Um, but again, it's a situation where you can't point to a single band and go, oh, they're trying to copy Depeche Mode or they're trying to copy you know, this band or that band. They have their own sound, they have their own style, but it is very clearly rooted in the sounds of the 80s. And that's in comparison to Beauty Pill's Please Advise. Beauty Pill had a, a very compelling and formative album for me in 2015. And generally speaking, I don't include EPs too often in rotation as it is. I'm generally an album listener. And so I have a hard time sometimes looking at an EP in comparison to an album and really making it a, a fair comparison. But it's Beauty Pill. And these guys are write amazing, thoughtful art pop, uh, intricately arranged with very thoughtful narratives in the, in the lyrics department. Um, and Please Advise has those things. But here's the thing. As an EP, it has a hard time stacking up. Now, I only put it in here because, you know, it's Beauty Pill and I love their music. But for them to really have won out in this particular challenge, it really would have had to have been a full album. If I had a full album of Beauty Pill music versus the gunship, we would have a really big problem. I'm almost starting to feel like nostalgia is like a different dimension of listening to the music, you know? You can craft nostalgia, and this is what I think that gunship does so well, is they've, they've crafted a sound that's explicitly nostalgic, that in many ways is, is carefully crafted as a sort of intricate musical things that Beauty Pill does. And if that's the case, all things being even, the gunship would still would still win that out. So listen to both tracks at the end, tell me what you think. And if you wanna know when this next challenge is gonna happen, please like and subscribe, share the video out with your friends, and keep your eyes open for the next one. Till then, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.